Hello friends and welcome back for another episode of Indie Impressions. My name is Nick and today we're going to be doing something pretty different for the channel. This is probably a first, although I'd have to go back through all of the archives and double check, but I think this may be the very first sports oriented game that I'm actually covering here. Uh, this is called Air Hockey Unlimited. It is by developer Vertex67. I feel like I'm sort of doing a little bit of a PSA here and I don't mean to self-inflate myself too much here, but... It, Air hockey, it's kind of a guilty pleasure of mine, and I think this very well may be the best air hockey game that I've ever found anywhere. Uh, back in the day, I used to play air hockey all the time on my Mac, and it was sort of like my favorite little thing to do between tasks. Whatever it was, I'd basically just pull this thing up, have it over on the side, just pull out the window, and just, you know, play a few rounds. And I'd never found a game that was really all that fleshed out or really well done. Uh, beyond that single one, and I've really never looked all that hard either, I'll be honest, but I kind of just felt like there wasn't a huge market for them, so I always felt like, well, it's maybe a niche thing. Uh, most people haven't really put in a lot of time and effort on a game like this. Well, I stand corrected. Here we are. Air Hockey Unlimited is exactly that game. It is the most robust air hockey game I've ever seen, with tons of options, realistic physics, tons of challenges, unlockables, there's even a store with money systems, all kinds of things are going on here. So we're going to do a little bit of a run through here, have a look at it, and see how it performs. Let's check out the settings first things first. Uh, play to 5, difficulty 5, sounds good to me, not really a whole lot there to mess with. Uh, we'll just do a round, and then we'll just see what we can uh, find also in the menus after that. So uh, I am the right puck, or the right uh, paddle rather, and then the one on the left is AI. Uh, I haven't tried this on a bunch of diff uh, different difficulty modes, but I found 5 to be a pretty nice one for myself. I've certainly played quite a few rounds of air hockey in my day. It's one of my favorites when I would go to the arcade. If they ever had an air hockey table, I'd always want to play it. And it's just, it's kind of funny because it's never been a thing that I've ever really had a reason to talk about before, but here we go, I actually do now, so <laughs> I'm pretty happy to get to uh, actually have an excuse. And uh, you'll notice they even go through the trouble of modeling the clicking feeling or the clicking sound that happens when the puck smacks into things like the wall and the paddles, uh, which is kind of a nice little feature and a nice little touch that I've never really seen anyone try to do before. Uh, also kind of worth noting, this is actually a Game Maker game, which is a thing that I also didn't expect, because the physics are pretty good in this, and it has a really nice feeling to it. Uh, in general, I mean, not to trash Game Maker or anything, there's definitely been quite a few games, including Hotline Miami, that have been quite well done, uh, but the developer, this is, uh, you know, very masterful at doing what he or she did with it. So the, uh, right now the AI is not being particularly tricky or anything, it's just sort of going for standard shots. Uh, I lost on that one, that's a little bit embarrassing, let's do another round. By the way, in case you're wondering, you don't have to click and hold uh, when you're over your side. You actually just can kind of click it once and it locks onto your mouse. Oh, I almost just scored a goal on myself on that one. Uh, of course, being that it is air hockey, the puck does occasionally get away from you, and it is quite embarrassing when you score a goal on yourself and the game actually laughs at you, which is kind of funny as well. Like that! There you go, perfect demonstration. I wasn't even trying to do that or anything. Uh, and if you're wondering about customization, there is actually an unlock in the store uh, where you can change the colors of the pucks and the paddle, uh, the puck and the paddles, rather. Uh, do you even call them paddles? Some, I think some people called them, like, handles? I don't know. Not that it really matters all that much. And there's even an upgrade that lets you hold the uh, paddle over top of the puck so you can do one of those lineup shots, but I don't have that yet. I actually haven't bought anything from the store just yet. And that actually was quite a little rally we just had there, a little volley back and forth. Uh, it feels like the momentum carries pretty well when you hit the thing particularly hard. Uh, it does seem to map well to the way it moves. That was really bad. Uh, so, you know, the, the general feel of the game and the fact that it's got the right, you know, tangible clickiness, I think is really a, a very important factor when it comes to air hockey. And I'm just doing absolutely horrible here. I'm so sorry. Uh, the one thing it might be missing, and I, I guess I should probably go back and check again, but I don't believe it actually has any, like, online multiplayer or anything. Let's just go back and look through things again. So, yeah, store settings, challenge records, and credits. So it does keep track of all your stuff. Your accomplishments will be in records. There's some achievements. You can check how much money you've earned, your total time played. It's actually got an amazing, uh, amazingly robust amount of stat tracking that it does, which is certainly a thing that, again, never expected to see in an air hockey game. Let's look through the store real quick to see what things we can buy with our $1,850. Our uh, there's bonus tables. There's various colors of those. That one's $10,000. Uh, we've got a green one for $20 a red one for 30, and then this is the uh, paddle color palette for 40,000. It's going to be quite a while before we can get to that, or maybe I can accomplish some uh, 
uh, challenges or something to maybe get to that money a little bit sooner. So that's the puck color palette, so we can customize those. Heavy hitter, uh, it's easy to hit hard with this heavy paddle accessible in settings menu. Uh, the topper, okay, this is what I was talking about before. Click the mouse to lift the paddle, uh, release it to drop the paddle, grab the puck, and set up good shots accessible in settings menu. Gravity unlocks the gravity pickup for use in play mode. Uh, accessible in settings, so there's actually sort of, uh, I guess, power-ups in a way, or things that can modify other things. Unlocks a giant paddle pickup for use in play mode now, uh, accessible in the settings menu. Paddle shrinks, or the reverse there. Extra puck, so you can have multiple pucks both in play at the same time. Goal shield, unlocks the goal shield for pickup, so that way I guess you take one hit before you're able to be scored upon. Uh, goal enlarger, unlocks the goal enlarger for use. Okay, so I guess you can make the opponent's goal bigger for an easier score. That could be interesting. Uh, adds a puck tally to the setting menu, and play with up to three pucks at a time. That's pretty wild. Robo Puck 3000, play against the road. The ultimate hockey machine, turn on raising difficulty above 10. Wow, so they, there's an automated crazy puck launching device. And then there's actually some bonus music tracks I should mention. Also, the music is quite nice in this as well. And the fact that there's even more to it is even better. And there's a neon mode of all things. That one's $250,000. So that's quite a lot of time to be invested to unlock some dynamic, motion-sensitive playfield action, which is actually something that I would totally be into playing with. Uh, and then that loops us back around to the beginning. So I guess the neon mode is kind of the ultimate uh, end-all, be-all of what's unlockable. But there are all these challenges that I wanted to show off. Let's see, so we've got target challenge, hit all the targets with the puck in both stages, complete the challenge, use angled uh, edges to bounce the puck into hard to reach areas, destroy all the targets in two minutes to pass. Let's give this a try. Oh, this looks very interesting. So we're gonna have to bounce this sucker around and see what we can do. Uh, we get, okay, one puck per try, I guess, and I've just scored on myself. Just basically uses up time is all. I feel like this might be doable. Oh, oh kind of a bad shot on that. Can we get it through? These gate posts, please. There we go. That'll work. And that's going to be a tough one. I guess we're going to have to get it at just the right angle. Probably want to go a little bit more gently than I've been, because this is not going to get us through. Uh, we've actually still got quite a while left, though. I think maybe these times were a little bit generous. I think one minute probably would have been plenty of time. Unless I'm just more skilled than some in air hockey. I don't think that's probably true. Alright, that's that one, and now we just gotta get one more, maybe just- Oh, there we go! Oh, there's more! There's more than one level, I didn't realize that. Never mind, I take it back. Actually, I'm hoping then that this is all that there is. Oh, and if the puck goes particularly slow, it actually gives you the option to reset. That's also a really nice feature and something that I didn't even think about. Uh, but definitely does make the game a little bit more feature complete. Seems like the developer really thought of just about everything when it comes to this style of game. Uh, it's certainly not something I would have considered. I mean, I've said this enough times now, but it's uh, pretty amazing to me. Costs five seconds each time I reset. Oh, that's bad. I didn't even look at that before. And one more. Can we get one more in here? See if I can bounce it. Oh, nope, not quite. Nope, get back over. Okay, I gotta probably reset again. I don't want to use that peg, though. That cube is going to be in the way. Mm, maybe, maybe it can bounce it down. Nope. Oh, we got it. Just barely made it through that one. Uh, no, I don't actually want to do that again. Let's hit escape. So we've accomplished the target challenge. Did I get a bunch of money for that? What happened? Oh yeah, I think I did. What didn't I? I was at like 1,800 before, and I was 68, so I guess I got five. All right, let's try another challenge before we move on. Uh, gravity is your enemy. Keep the pucks away from the goal as long as possible. As time goes on, gravity will increase. More pucks will be added. Hit the pucks all the way back to the back wall. Uh, neutralizer speed. Only a true air hockey warrior will survive. Obtain a score of 7,500 to pass. Score will increase faster as more pucks are added. This sounds very exciting, actually, and this might actually be the kind of thing that I might be interested in playing all by itself. Very strange that this is a thing that I'm interested in, I guess, but it is kind of cool. So I've got to actually try and bounce these off of each other, and as long as we tap into the back wall, uh, it does seem to stagger the pucks coming back at you, so you've got to be able to manipulate multiple at the same time, sort of like juggling them. I like that it's got this little bit of a delay each time, that's a huge help. Are we going to add a third one? We've got to get to 7,500, we still have a while left. Oh jeez, now things get a little bit hectic, uh, and if they don't touch the back wall, then I'm going to be in trouble. Oh jeez, barely made it through that want to be able to juggle these off of each other when possible. Maybe we can keep them feeding into themselves and not breaking my game. Come on, keep going. 
Another thousand. I gotta do four now. That's a lot of things to keep track of. Oh, I actually made it, amazingly enough. That was just about the perfect amount of difficulty, I think, for this challenge. And, alright, now we're sort of finishing things off. I guess as long as there's still one. No, all I won, so I guess we're good. That was actually really fun. And what did I get now? So I'm up to 11,850. And I'm not sure that really gets me much else in terms of uh, the unlocks. I think there's like one table maybe I can buy for this, but... Uh, probably a good moment to wrap things up anyway. Seems like we've seen pretty much most of what the game has to offer. Again, only criticisms. Maybe some local or online multiplayer would be really awesome. Uh, local, I guess you'd have to have, like, two mice set up, because this is obviously a game where you'd need to have mouse control to be able to keep up with someone. But I don't see why that wouldn't be possible. I mean, you can just plug in as many mice as you want, although I'm not sure how it would know which one is mapped to where, and maybe that's also a constraint of Game Maker. I have no idea. But for what it's worth, Air Hockey Unlimited gets my seal of approval for the definitive air hockey game on PC. Uh, if any of you out there have ever been looking for one, this one is definitely the one to get. By the way, you can also grab the soundtrack of this for free. Uh, there's four songs, I guess the ones that I can still unlock and buy in the store in addition to the one that's playing right now. And the game itself is actually free to download as well, so there is absolutely no expense required here and it is a pretty good time. So with that, I will leave you for another day. Make sure you check out the description so you can go download this for yourself if you want to give it a try. Uh, feel free to tell a friend. I do greatly appreciate any support if you do enjoy what I do. Uh, spread the love. I do greatly appreciate it. So with that, I will catch you tomorrow. Make sure you come back again. New episodes every single day. And of course, check out Indie-Impressions for more. So I will see you later.